So this is what the fishing method that I prefer. I just wanted to go over this with you. Really, though, the best time to do this, to be honest, is when these fucking griefers aren't on the map. Huh? So as you see right here, we're just to the west of uh, St. Denis. So basically right in here, here's the pond that we'll be going to. Uh, I find coming through the back way, it's, it's a little better, you know, low key. Uh, it doesn't bring so much attention to. I also usually send my horse away and then I'll bring them up uh, right before I open fire. Huh. Okay guys, so in today's method, basically we got the perfect time right now. Basically, let me show you where we're at. So on the map, basically you'll go ahead and get to St. Denis. Now, here's the thing though. Uh, again, you might want to spawn in, you know, perhaps, you know, around Tumbleweed or whatnot, and then go ahead and fast travel to Le Moyne, and then just go ahead and track down to St. Denis. Now for this, you will need a fishing rod and a varmint rifle. However, the varmint rifle is not, you don't necessarily need it. However, the fishing rod and reel, you're definitely going to need. Huh? So let's track on here. So I don't find this method as boring as the others, right? I know a lot of you guys probably know this. Or, you know, maybe you don't. Maybe you're thinking about getting this and you just subscribe to my channel or whatever. So what you want to do is you want to come right to the edge here of this fountain pond, right? Now, from there, you'll go ahead and you'll equip your fishing rod. Once you get it out, go ahead. It doesn't matter what kind of bait you put on it. And as soon as we bring it up, you should see the fish start spawning in at the far end of the pond. And you see them right there, right? So if they don't automatically just start spawning up, I know we got like one down there, I think. However, what you can do is just go ahead and just cast in, give it a short cast in. And then you can see them, they just start spawning in like crazy. So then what you want to do is go ahead, put your rod away. And see what you get now you will want to take the varmint rifle because then it keeps the fish in the proper uh you know condition current condition it doesn't hurt the fish so we've got a smallmouth bass here you do get some some bigger fish bigger species fish boom so you get the sturgeons, you get the lake sturgeons. The problem with them, I find that, I mean, you got to pack them on your horse and get them out of the pond. Now the lake sturgeons, the thing is, getting them out of the pond can be tricky, right? But what you got to do is sort of drop them. I'll show you when the time comes, yeah? Okay, so once you pretty much hunted it out, go ahead. What I do is, is leave that sturgeon in there. Sometimes I'll just leave the sturgeon, but as you see, as soon as you get out, they start spawning in again, right? It's pretty awesome in my opinion. So you just rinse and repeat. I hear that the more that you pull out your rod and reel, the more they spawn. That's what she said. But this is fine for me, yeah? All mouth pass. That's gonna get a couple bucks right there, boys. And again, you just you just keep rinsing and repeating this method. Let's get a little practice shooting. Which is always a good thing. Ooh, pickles actually not bad. Like some canned pickle. <laughs> it's like a shoddy but with a 22 slug, yeah. And the good thing is, if griefers <clears throat> actually come and get you, or you know, they can't, they can only take your big game fish, right? Like the sturgeons and shit. And again, you just rinse and repeat this method as long as you want, really. As long as the griefers don't come. So, I always <clears throat> suggest, you know, just just always keep an eye. You go straight down on your D-pad. But also, if you hold down on the D-pad, you can actually turn your radar completely off. Again, depressing down on the D-pad. Completely off. Sometimes, I like to just the compass on right now we'll keep it at regular and that's how we're gonna roll so again a rinse and repeat this method look they're just spawning in like crazy now i got a sturgeon over there ready to go
then basically you just waypoint to the butcher that's not even that far away and that's what makes this method so sweet is that you can work on your freaking aim as well as make some really really decent cash looking to sell your wares or buy some of the finest meat to ever grace this town so we're at 551 appreciate it pretty standard appreciate it done and done pretty standard fare these days okay then Oh yeah, this pecker will get a buck a piece, man. That's pretty good. But those bass, that's where it's at. Woo! Seven twenty-five, man. You should get a horse and take it up there with you, right? And bring two back. That's fourteen bucks right there. So, boys, hope you enjoyed today's method like i said it's absolutely one of my favorites you know you get some aiming in you can actually try different weapons if you'd like it's just with the varmint rifle you you know you'll keep the grade of the fish so it won't go down so with that being said make sure you tell all your friends about our channel here at matrix native i'd appreciate it go ahead one time snipe like snipe the sub i'll catch you next video keep it real because that's how we roll Dreaming big town is small and it's going down all I need is a microphone I'm headed for the crown y'all call me whack call me weak say I'll never blow Memphis bleak they know like the radio